Chad Ikes, Courage Barbell. Today, I want to talk about another simple exercise. Maybe not as simple or as old as, as the push-up, but still, it's a row. Now, I've done a couple videos on rows, and one of the problems I have with rows is how so many people try to go heavy, and they end up not even training the muscles that they're supposed to be training when they're doing a row. Now, I'm not against heavy rowing. I actually like heavy rowing. I prefer it to be a progression to a point where a person has the mind-muscle connection and proprioception to get what they need out of it, such as you see some bodybuilders doing these heavy-ass rows, but they can do them well because they have the muscle control and they, they have that mind-muscle connection that they're always working the muscles that they need to know. They, had, they put in the time and the experience and the work to be able to do that. But a lot of lifters, especially young lifters or immediate lifters, see that and they want to go heavy and they want to do just like that, like these guys do, but they're not actually training those muscles. So I think the row can also be done with a much lighter weight, with a lot more intent of movement and actually get a lot more out of it than the heavy rows all the time. So what I'm going to do, I do not have a pulley system here at Courage Barbell. So we do a lot of different stuff with bands. And to be quite honest with you, I like figuring out how to do stuff without all the expensive equipment that a lot of gyms have. Uh, I like to train my mind as well as I like to train my body. So, what it, so you can do this with a low pulley if you have one, but I'm gonna show you with bands. And what we're gonna do, if you see, I just have some bands set up against the rack. And I have it set up so I can actually brace my feet against my rack. And what we're going to do, and I set up a little handle. This is just a piece of PVC, some chain, and a carabiner. So it gives me a good grip to hold on to. And what we're going to do is I want you to get that neutral low back. Get in a really upright position. Pull those lats down so you're depressing those shoulders. And this is going to be the starting position. And as you can see, my shoulder here is fully protracted forward. So I'm letting my scapula completely come out. And what I'm gonna do, my first movement is going to be keeping that shoulder depressed with the lat, squeezing those rhomboids, middle and lower traps to retract my shoulder first. Then I'm gonna open up my hand, pulling that into my midsection. The whole time I'm pulling the shoulder down and keeping it down. Then I'm gonna let it out. Then I'm gonna protract the shoulder. Open, turn my wrist back over as I'm protract or as I'm retracting the shoulder and pulling it down. I'm opening the hand up into a full row, so I'm getting the full range of motion, and I'm really, really focusing on letting the, the shoulder blade completely protract. Then we start the retraction while we're turning the wrist, dropping the shoulder down getting a full retraction of that scapula as hard as we can, pulling it all the way in while keeping the shoulder depressed, and then going back out. So this is one of those movements where you really need to focus on the movement. Don't start uh, 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 trying to pull your body around and go as heavy as you can. If you need to drop down and wait, drop down and wait. I guarantee that even if you drop down in tension, band tension, or weight, but you do this correctly with intent and you're squeezing as hard as you can, you will get a lot out of this exercise. So again, neutral back, which is very important. I see too many people hunching when they arch. Get that neutral back, which is a little arch in the low back. Protract the shoulder. Now depress the shoulder. We want to start, we're keeping the shoulder depressed the whole way. I have my, I start with my palm facing down. Then I'm going to retract the shoulder blade while I'm starting to turn the hand up. And then I'm going to pull it in. And right here, I'm squeezing as hard as I can. Shoulder blade down, depressed, and retracted as much as possible. And I'm really focusing on that retraction and holding the retraction. Then I keep the retraction until the arm gets straight. Then I let it go back into protraction. And the whole time I'm pulling my lat, I'm depressing my shoulder with my lat and then squeezing it as hard as I can at the back, holding that position tight. And 
and we're really working on correct movement of this whole scapula and upper back. We're going just like that. I set myself up a little way to hook my handle up there because I'm lazy. That's basically it. It's a pretty simple movement, but this is a movement that is so important in your deadlift, your squat and your bench and pretty much everything you do. It's important to have this upper back strong to help you in good posture and with everything you do. And especially when it comes to your shoulder health as you age and get older, keeping that back, people forget that the scapula or the shoulder really is kind of a floating joint uh, where the humerus connects with the rotator cuff muscles is connecting to the scapula. So if your back is not strong enough to keep those scaps stable and in the positions they need to be in, that's going to cause shoulder problems. The upper back and the shoulder are directly linked. Cut. All right, so let's cover a couple of important features of that. How much weight you use is not the most important thing. The most important thing is the mind muscle connection and the intent of the movement. Are you moving every little aspect of it with intent and intensity? The other part is again, with the scapula, I'm going to be, I'm going to be holding my shoulder down and protracting out as far as I can. Sh keeping the shoulder down. I'm going to start turning the wrist as I'm protracting the scapula. Once the scapula is in tight, then I'm going to bend the elbow and pull it in. And the whole time I'm squeezing down and squeezing this scap back into position as hard as I can. So I'm coming here out in front. I'm going to protract while depressing the shoulder, protract all the way. Then I'm going to start to come in. And when I'm done, I'm opening up the hand, drawing that shoulder, drawing the shoulder into depression as much as I can, retracting as hard as I can and getting a really tight squeeze, feeling those lats, rhomboids, mid and lower traps. And then I'm going to let the arm out straight, then start into the protraction to come all the way out. So it's... Uh, and we're working on keeping the brace and keeping the shoulders stable because this is not one where I want you doing this. I want it all coming from up here. So vary your weight so that you can do that with control and not be going, ur, ur. we're not trying to work our spinal erectors and trunk and everything else. We're really trying to isolate those lats, the upper back, our middle upper back. That's it, man. It's that simple. This is a great exercise. Everyone should be doing this. If you want to mix it in with some heavy rows, like maybe you do some sort of a heavy row movement and then, and then finish with, with this concentrated row. Uh, I do these generally three sets of eight to 12 general strength training stuff, really focusing on the movement. And if you have a partner, have, have them back there watching you. Have them cue you getting those rhomboids tight, keep keeping that shoulder depressed and really making sure that you're putting your body in the correct positions. Not just what you think is the correct position, but have somebody watching you or film yourself, do a set, watch the video, then do the next set and make sure you're actually feeling what is actually happening and you have it done correctly. Guys, thank you for watching the channel. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notifications so you know every time we get a new one up. Please go over to couragebarbella.com. Pick up some water bottles, some clothes, some stickers, anything. Help us out here. Please go to Instagram. It's just Chad Ikes. Follow that one. I probably should start the Courage Barbell one or something like that. Um, if you're into the all the shit going on in this world, maybe check out Chad and Doug, which is also on the couragebarbell.com site. We got a lot of funny t-shirts on there. And I'm going to let you guys go. I'm out of here. Have a great day. Have a great train. Lift with intent. Always, always intent. I'm out, guys.